Okay, in this lab, we are going to discuss about characteristics of AC servo motor. Okay, in this, the main objective is to analyze the speed torque characteristics of AC servo motor. Okay, coming to operators, we are having. Okay, coming to operators, we are having three operators required. First one is the AC servo motor kit. Okay, this is the AC servo motor kit. Okay, in this we are having servo motor. This is our servo motor which is having two windings. First one is the reference winding, and second one is the control winding. This is our control winding, and this is DC motor. Okay, DC motor and AC servo motor both are coupling each other. Okay, here we are going to get the back EMF. back emf of dc motor and here we are going to get the control winding okay by wearing this control winding we are going to use the control voltage knob okay this is our control voltage knob by wearing this one we are going to get the variable control voltage and this is the meter for measuring the speed and this is the load valve that is load terminal by using this one we are going to vary the load okay this is about dc servo motor kit and one more operator is multimeter okay this is the multimeter and similarly we are having the connecting wires okay these are the three operators required for conducting the characteristics of ac servo motor experiment we are going to analyze two characteristics first one is the characteristics between speed and back emf and second one is the characteristics between speed and torque okay now we are going to calculate the characteristics of speed and back emf for finding characteristics we have to connect the multimeter to the back emf terminal that is terminals of a dc motor okay here we are going to get the back emf of a dc motor okay that is multimeter we are going to connect it to the terminals of dc motor winding okay this voltmeter gives the back emf value by controlling the voltage that is by controlling the control voltage knob we are going to get the back emf with respect to speed while calculating the characteristics between speed and back emf we have to keep the load switch in off position we have to switch on only servo motor switch so we are going to on the servo motor switch first we have to switch on the power then we have to switch on the servo motor switch then we are going to vary the control voltage okay this is our control voltage by varying this control voltage we are going to get the speed as well as back emf okay that is for speed of 830 we are going to get 1.57 volts similarly by varying this control voltage we are going to take the values okay we have to take up to 5 to 6 value in order to draw the graph this is the variation of speed and this is the variation of back emf okay maximum we will take up to the value of 3.5 that is back emf value of 3.5 okay we have to take 6 to 
seven wire is in between three point five to zero volts. Okay, after taking the values, slowly we we have to decrease the control voltage. Okay, after decreasing the that is zero volts, we have to switch off the servo motor, then power off. Okay, coming to second part of speed torque characteristics of servo motor. In this, we are going to obtain the speed torque characteristics. Okay, for getting the speed torque characteristics, first we have to keep load switch in off position and servo motor also in off position. Now we have to make the voltmeter, that is multimeter in AC mode. Multimeter in AC mode. We have to connect this multimeter across the control winding of servo motor. After connecting the multimeter across connecting that is control winding of servo motor, we have to switch on the servo motor. Okay. After switching on the servo motor by using the control voltage now, we have to fix the control voltage at some particular value, some fixed value. After fixing the control voltage at some particular value, we have to remove the multimeter and we have to make the multimeter in DC mode. We have to make the multimeter in DC mode. We have to connect this multimeter across the back EMF that is winding terminals of DC motor in order to finding the back EMF. After connecting the multimeter at this winding, we have to switch on the load switch. Okay, by switching on the load switch, by varying the load, by varying the load from minimum to maximum, we have to calculate the back EMF value and speed and current value. Okay, this indicates the current value, this is speed and by varying this load now. Okay, by co after connecting the multimeter across control winding, we have to switch on the servo motor kit. Then we have to switch on the DC AC servo motor. Now we have to fix this voltage that is control voltage at some particular value by using the control voltage now. Okay, in this case, first we are going to fix the control voltage at 75. Okay, we can take any value in between 0 to 230. In first case, we are going to fix the control voltage. Winding voltage value is 75. Okay, this is a 75 voltage. Now we have to remove this multimeter in order to find out the back email. And we have to change the multimeter to DC. Okay, and we have to connect this multimeter across DC motor winding and now we have to switch on the load switch okay by switching on the load switch we have to vary the load terminal okay by varying this load terminal from minimum to maximum we have to note down this one that is back EMF, speed as well as the armature current. Okay, while taking the values, don't change the control voltage. Okay, in first case, we are going to vary the load. That is here. Back EMF going to change is from 1.2 to and load current changes from 0 to 0 0.01, 0 and 0 0.03 we are getting the corresponding changes in speed as well as back EMF okay, 
ओके ट्राई टू टेक अप टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एम पी एस और जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स एम पी एस ओके दीज आर दैल्यूज एट कंट्रोल वोल्टेज एट सेवेंटी फाइव वोल्ट सिमिलरली वी आर गोइंग टू रिपीट द एक्सपेरिमेंट फॉर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ कंट्रोल वोल्टेज Again, we have to decrease the load. Then we have to switch off the load terminal. After that, we have to decrease the control voltage to zero. Then switch off the servo motor. Then switch. Same thing we are going to repeat for control voltage of 100 volts. Okay, in this. Okay, brother. connect the multimeter at control voltage knob and vary the control voltage and fix at 125 volts okay then remove the multimeter and change the multimeter to dc then connect at winding of dc motor and switch on the load terminal then apply the load and take the corresponding speeds armature current and back in up to 0.06 amperes okay same procedure going to repeat for remaining values of control voltage we can take up to 230 volts This is for zero point zero five, zero point zero six. You can decrease the load of it. That is load. Switch off the load terminal. Then decrease the control voltage. Zero volt. 